uh, on this side we have uh, that uh, X1 uh, box, and this is essentially the server. Uh, and then we have the Samsung TV, uh, a typical set-top box uh, actually driving this TV, and then the tablet here as well. So on, on this television, you can see that um, it's actually showing uh, the Xfinity guide, the normal one that you would see on the television. And uh, when you first go in here, uh, you can actually see uh, the actual guide coming up. Now, in order to actually get here, uh, it, it just shows us a video source. So normally we see TV, HDMI, et cetera, you see uh, the, the RUI of the Xfinity. So, Did you uh, say RUI? Yes, re sorry, remote user interface. RUI, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But uh, so one of the features of VidiPath is that the client, in this case a TV, goes out and automatically discovers the servers. And so it's automatically discovered that uh, Xfinity set-top box uh, on the home network so, it, so you can get the, this content. Yeah. So now you're kind of seeing uh, that, uh, the guide I have here as well. Uh, but it continues, uh, you know, you can do the regular menus and, and the normal things that you have from your television. Uh, because again, uh, the Xfinity is just kind of running like a, a, an app inside of that. And you can see here it's actually uh, very responsive. I'm shifting through, uh, you know, scrolling through the screen very, very quickly. And again, all of this user interface is basically a web page, an HTML web page, that is being served uh, from this set-top box. This TV doesn't have a set-top box directly connected to it. Okay. So if you're an operator, it means that, you know, it used to be that everywhere you had a TV, you had to put one of these, right? And so now it means you have to put exactly. one of these, and on the other sets, you don't even have to put the little, whatever we were calling it, the setback box, or the, the or small dongles, $50 or, Yeah, the, set, the setback so box. So just the one. Exactly. Yeah. So over on uh, this television, again, driving by a smaller set-top box, uh, we're actually watching uh, HBO this morning, and so that we can actually, um, go, again, go to the guide. You see this, the exact same kind of user interface that you saw on the TV and you would normally see on, on top of a, uh, a, a typical set-top box. And so it's loading up the guide here, all pulling it all across uh, you know, from, from the set-top box again. Same kind of thing, you can uh, scroll around uh, on that as well. And um, here as well, uh, we also have uh, DVR functionality. Now, it's not actually running locally, Again, it's all running on this set-top box, so you've consolidated where all your shows are, and I can actually go through, pick something to watch, and you don't have to have on any of the devices uh, storage or anything like that. Yep. It's all being handled and just being displayed on, on the device as well. Finally, over here, I have a, a tablet, as you can see. Again, same kind of user interface uh, that we've got going on here. And I can just uh, pick a piece of content, and uh, it will watch it as well on that. So really, on all the interfaces, you get the same user experience. All of them are coming from, from the set-top box, so it's easy to have a single application because they're all HTML5. Uh, you don't have to write a different app for each tablet, for each operating system, for each television. Uh, oh, yeah. It's tell all them, a single app on the x one Tell them about the emergency alerting thing that happened yesterday. Yeah, so we were actually surprised on Tuesday when we were setting up over in, uh, in Tech Stadium uh, they were running the monthly uh, emergency alert. Uh, we didn't know it was going to happen. And actually that showed up on all of the screens on top of all the user interfaces. So we, we actually think that was the first time ever that, em ever yeah. that emergency alert has actually, sh uh, a live emergency alert uh, test Flowed showed through. up on the tablet, yeah. on, on the set of boxes, and on, on the TV directly. Okay, so you make chips. Tell me the status of this chip, like when does this become live, is it live now? If I bought a TV right. here, if I right. bought that TV, would it be in it? You know? so, so again, the, uh, uh, this is the live service, the live feed here from Comcast here in Chicago. Um, so I'll let them talk about their, the dates that they're actually gonna do. And then the functionality has been built into, for example, our reference platform for, for over a year. And uh, I think all of these, uh, we have to let the, the uh, suppliers the say when they're gonna actually do their, their announced dates, but okay. uh, it was actually very easy to port some of the uh, SDKs into these uh, devices, so it was very easy to do. So, what, do you actually think this is going to happen? I actually do, right? Okay. I, it's, right? It's a reasonable blend because it doesn't take too much resources. You know, some of the previous uh, uh, initiatives required to do a lot of strange things on, on TVs and devices. They already have an HTML5 browser, they already have the media player, and this is just a little bit of software to allow them to provide services for commercial services. Okay, so you think I'm gonna lose this bet? 
I don't I know. Might, I, I don't might know. Do lose we'll it, we'll see how it goes. All right. Thank you, Dr. Palm. All right. Thank you very much.